SSH or Secure Shell is a network protocol that will allow us to securely access a Synology NAS over a network. However, because SSH requires that we use a command prompt to issue commands to our NAS, SSH tends to be mostly used by system administrators. So while most home users will probably not need to use SSH, in case you find that you do, we thought it would be useful to demonstrate how you enable SSH on a Synology NAS, and then show you how from within macOS, you can connect to your NAS through SSH. In order to use SSH, we first need to enable SSH on our NAS. So let's open Distation Manager using our administrator's credentials. Now if we open Control Panel, under Connectivity, we will find an option called Terminal and SNMP. When we open Terminal and SNMP, we need to tick Enable SSH Service. After selecting Apply, we are warned that by enabling SSH, we could potentially run commands that could damage system files or data. Let's select OK. We're now notified that port 22 will be open on the firewall of our NAS. As we need port 22 open in order for the computers on our home network to connect to our NAS via SSH, we're going to select OK. We can now close this station manager. With SSH now enabled on our NAS, we can now try and create a secure SSH tunnel from our computer to our NAS. From macOS, if we open Spotlight Search, type Terminal, and then press Enter on our keyboard, we will open a terminal window. Now from the command prompt, we need to type SSH, then the name of the administrator's account for our NAS. We then need to type at, and the local IP address that our NAS uses. When we press enter on our keyboard, we're informed that our computer is not authenticated, and we are shown a unique ECDSA key. If we type yes, when we press enter on our keyboard, the ECDSA key will be added to our computer. We're now prompted for the administrator's password to our NAS. After entering the password, we are shown a warning that Synology do not recommend that we run commands as root. So while using SSH, we need to be very careful with the commands that we run. As you can see from before the command prompt, we're now connected to our NAS via our administrator's account. We can now from the command prompt, execute any commands that we want. So for example, we can use a command to view system files that are not available from within Distation Manager. Let's close SSH by typing exit. We can now close our terminal window. While SSH can be very useful, we should not leave it running on our NAS when we're not using it. So let's take a look at how you disable SSH. If we log back into Disk Station Manager, from the desktop, we now need to select Control Panel. Within Control Panel, we need to once again select Terminal and SNMP. We now need to remove the tick from Enable SSH Service. After clicking Apply, we now need to select Security and then Firewall. Within the Firewall panel, if we select Edit Rules, we will be presented with a list of our firewall rules. From this list, we need to locate and untick the encrypted terminal service rule. When we select OK, the firewall to our NAS will no longer accept SSH traffic. We can now log out of Disk Station Manager. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you enable SSH on a Synology NAS. We then demonstrated how you connect to SSH from within macOS, before once again disabling SSH on our NAS.